Turn two, you really have to be careful going downhill. It can be very slippery, especially on the exit. Turn three, it's a 100 degree turn, not a 90 degree turn as it looks, and has a laid apex. Turn four is less than 90 degrees. It's opposite of turn three. Turn five, 90 degrees plus, and it's banked, which is to your advantage. But you need as much speed as you possibly can afford. After the turn, it's uphill. Turn six is less than 90 degrees. Get your braking right, or you will be off the track with your skin in the wind. It's very deceptive. Turn seven, it's easy, only a bend, but you need to keep your speed up so you can enter turn eight. Turn eight, this one's the corkscrew. Set yourself up all the way to the right and then to the left and aim for the middle tree. Turn nine, it's a long sweeper, downhill, and you gain lots of speed, but be respectful. Turn 10, set yourself up. Keep as much speed as you possibly can, but you're gonna enter a 90 degree turn. Turn 11, it's tough, more than 90 degrees, but it looks 90 degrees as you're going into it, and you have to brake hard, get it right, so you can gain speed for the main straightaway. Good setup, but too much speed and I didn't brake hard enough and paid the consequences. It was very slippery and off the track I went. Well, I got one lap in. That's all the time I have. Looking to see if the uh, under tray is still intact after that spin. It is, at least back here, but I'll, I'll look at the front too. It's all good, it's all good. So now it's up to electrical. Yeah, that was quite a spin. I went through that turn, set it up perfectly, had enough speed to get through it, but coming out of it, I had too much speed. Went off to the right into the rumble strip. That upset the balance, and I spun. Here I was, backwards, facing traffic, and then they had to tow me off. Yeah, at first I thought I might have knocked out one of the main cables that come from the power pack to the controller. This controller's down low, and but fortunately those were good and tight because they're pretty beefy. So then I came back here and looked at the battery because I figured at that point the computer lost its memory. So I disconnected the battery, let everything die down electronically, hooked it back up, and everything's good to go. So we're back in the race.
Next, we will cover, we'll go with the conversion class. We had four competitors in conversion cars. It's a manufacturer a car that's converted electrically after the fact. And in fourth place with a 237 588 in the 94 Honda Del Sol was John Rue. And in third with a 225 297 in the Mazda Miata was Roger Derryberry. Roger, are you here? See what happens when you motor backwards? <laughs> there you go. There you Thank go. You. Hold that and stand up here for a second. In second place with a 212.003, Jeff McCabe in the Porsche 928. Okay, and uh, in first place with a 149.036 in the BMW M3 conversion, Michael Yes. Michael's driving the EV West conversion car. Michael, you guys, you should be in the middle. That's typically how we are. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, at least we got on the podium with a third. And uh, even though I was motoring backwards, I guess there's some justice in it. 